I'm Brian Watkins and this is the tutorial for table A3 in which you are asked to create a report using pivot tables showing the three best-selling products in each category. Uh, then we're going to sort the three best-selling products based on the dollar amount of sales in ascending order. So we start by going to the relevant data which is A, product sales data, insert, pivot table, and that's okay and what we're going to do again we look at our our chart it's uh, sort three best-selling products in each category so we're gonna have category product and sales again that's our basic report and uh, while we're at it let's uh, let's do our format I'll bring this down again so you can see how that's done we value field settings number format for sum of sales only number in the report right now number use a thousand separator two decimals okay now we're set to go and the reason why uh, I hope you get in the habit of using that formatting system is that when you do so you can continue to manipulate the table and keep the formatting now you are asked to limit what is seen to the top three in order to do that you're going to look for a filter Filters can be accessed in a couple ways, uh, one of which is to click just on the uh, category itself and then choose filter and you're looking for top 10. Or a uh, quicker way is to hit the filter button which is found in the, uh, the header to the, uh, the column in question. So I could filter category with this button or we could filter on our products. The filter we want <coughs> is a value filter and you can see that there's various logic available. We're going to use the top 10. And the top 10 brings up this dialog box where you can choose either the bottom, say we want to know the worst selling uh, product, or the top. So we're going to stick with the top and we're going to limit it to three items and it's already selected for a sum of sales. This box would give you options if you had uh, multiple columns with different uh, fields of numbers. So here's our filter, top three items. We hit OK. Now we want to sort. Sort can be accessed in two ways as well. We could go to the um, the options ribbon and go to sort and that'll bring up the sort box for product. Let's close that real quick. We could click on it and we could come to sort um, through that way. We don't want an A to Z sort, we want the more options. So let's hit it with the box at the ribbon, sort, and we want ascending order, but we don't want it by the product title. We want it by sum of sales. And the, and the program is smart enough to give you the option because it knows that it's displaying that sum of sales. Because right now it's, it's sorting, uh, it appears to be sorting alphabetically on the product name but remember to read your problem and the problem says specifically ascending order based on dollar amount of sales and here's how you do it hit OK everything looks good all we need to do now is dress it up so we'll look at our pivot table styles that box doesn't give me everything there we go let's let's use this one and uh, how about a dark you can see these white lines these white lines mean your text is going to be white. I always find that hard to read. So as a general rule, I tend to avoid that unless there's a some other compelling reason. So let's pick a dark with, there we go, pivot style dark. Um, go with 14 there. Click on it. Double check. Okay, our grand total is 395. And let's see what the key says. Top three products by sales, 395. We're good to go, and you now know how to produce table A3. One last issue I noticed before I uh, left this video. We need to stretch this box out because you can't read what's going on. Um, that's important. I think it, uh, it makes for a, a better report when you can actually read your subheadings. So I would ask you to, to make sure that you sort, or sorry, you stretch your columns out so that you can read uh, the items in your report. 